This is Tama. Um, this is more for people that are really trying to seek God. The Lord has laid on my heart to talk about this. If you're seeking God with all your heart, and you're currently trying to refine yourself, you're currently trying to find God, you're currently trying to walk the narrow path, and, and you really are honestly trying to come to Him with all your heart, and you just need and you just need to one of the things instead of coming to other people, instead of instead of coming to man's understanding, and instead of coming to pastors or a certain church or a certain denomination, you really need to give your whole entire heart to Jesus Christ as you're as you're submitting to Him, and God will lead you down the, the correct path, absolutely, and he'll, and through the Holy Spirit, He will lead you to the truth. He will lead you. To if you're in the wrong church, if you're in, like I was in the Catholic Church, he led me away from them. Like when I received the true Holy Spirit, when I truly did receive the indwelling of, of God, he led me away from them. When when I when I truly did um, surrender my whole heart to Jesus Christ, it wasn't instant. It it happened over a period of time. But I was led away from the Catholic Church, and, and I truly did give my whole entire life to Jesus Christ. He threw a whole bunch of tests in front of me. It's just like give up this, give up that, you know what I mean, you can't be doing this anymore, you can't be doing that anymore, and I did, I gave all those things up because I, I counted my my walk with Jesus Christ more important than all those things, more important than anything that was, un, anything that was unholy, like like swearing and, and, um, and lying and stealing and all sorts of other things that weren't, that weren't fun or pleasant, um, I had to give those things up. I had to give up. I had to give up my pride. I had to give up spending money frivolously. I had to give up a whole bunch of things. I, I learned to be a better husband. I mean, I had I had to, I had to give up some more serious things I'd rather not mention, and and um, I, I just all all were a test. Like I had, I had to give up a lot of things. I had to give up money. I had to give up like my pursuit of money. In other words, like like. Um, you know, wanting wanting money in order to feel secure, because if you have the Holy Spirit dwelling inside of you, you will feel that sense of peace, love, and joy. You will you won't money won't matter to you anymore. Nothing in this world will matter to you anymore when you completely surrender yourself to Jesus Christ. When you say that sinner's prayer, the sinner's prayer is just is just a way a way to like to to summarize it all up. You have to mean it with your heart. It's not just you chanting words. It's it's you surrendering your whole heart to Jesus Christ. It's you surrendering all of your problems. But that means that that you're putting God number one first in your life, and you're going to revolve your entire life and everything you do around God. There are no exceptions. There are no well. I still want to do this, even though this is against God. You will if you if you've truly given your life to Jesus and you truly receive the Holy Spirit. Then, then you will be led to give up anything and everything that is unholy, and everything and anything that is in between you and God it will go. It will fade away, or or you will or you will stray off the path. So many have strayed off the path because they've gone to churches, they've gone to pastors and preachers that that have told them that they don't need to give up these things. They just need to give ten percent, follow that church's specific doctrine, and and just be little loyal sheep of that church. But it's more than that. It's about it's about what God calls you to do as an individual. I mean, it'd be wonderful if all the churches actually were being led by God. But if it were, then it wouldn't be run like a corporation. It'd be run to do specific things for the Lord. But instead, as it stands, it's it's more of a worldly thing. And so, and so, it doesn't matter what it is. If it's it, it, it's just you have to you have to trust in God, believe in Him, believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Believe that he died on the cross so that you have a way back to the Father. Should you choose to repent and remiss of your sins, that means to give up those things, to surrender them to God, and God will change your heart, mind, body, and soul. You will be born again as a new creature in Christ. And and you're not doing it on your own. You're not seeking your understanding. You're letting God guide you. Because a lot of people are a lot of people are in the world and, and don't want to give up worldly things and they'll and, and they're just following. If you can't tell the difference between a Christian and someone who's not a Christian, that's a problem because we're supposed to be the lights that shine in the world. Um, so, you know, believe with your whole heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that He died for our sins. Get baptized and then receive the baptism. Ask for the Holy Spirit to come inside of you. If you if something's holding you back, 
ask for God to reveal what that is. He'll work with you. He'll give you, He'll help you, He'll guide you. God is there with you. God wants, doesn't want anyone to perish, but that all will come to repentance. As it stands, we know that in the book of Revelation, it reveals not everyone makes it. Most people won't make it. But we need to, we may to remain firm and, and stand to the end. And, and um, if you need a Bible, I give away free Bibles. And, and God bless you, and I hope that this touched the person it was intended to. Abba, Father, God, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over this video, Lord. I ask that you bless people with a Holy Spirit fire anointing, Lord. Fire fall upon them, Lord, and consume them with your Holy Spirit, your peace, love, and joy that surpasses all understanding, Lord. As, and, and be with them always and guide them, Lord, and guide them to the truth. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen, amen. You guys take care and have a good one.